this is Julie from Kemplinked. Uh, Chinese consumers, especially the young, find themselves constantly searching for novelty, a trend that has had more and more implications and effects on their purchasing preferences. So products that bear interesting packaging designs or that are coupled with interesting or relevant companies and relevant ideas are becoming more and more eye-catchy and popular. So we thought here today at Kemplinked, Rich 24H, we would be sharing with you some of the most relevant cosmetic products in China. First, let's talk about the integration of Chinese cosmetic brands and time-honored snack brands. One, milk flavored lip balm. This candy flavored lip balm, a tie-up between the White Rabbit, a Chinese candy brand, and the Maxim, which is a Chinese cosmetic brand, uh, launched in September with the packaging designed like the White Rabbit candy. This candy is an iconic chewy sweet that generations of Chinese children have grown up with. Uh, the lip balm actually brought back a sense of nostalgia among Chinese consumers. So it was widely reported in Chinese media and it received more than 120,000 reposts on Weibo, which is the Chinese Twitter, before sales even started. So 920 lip balm on the first batch were snapped in seconds on the online retailer Tmall. Maxim continued to increase inventories as consumers kept showing great purchasing interest. Two, the Cushion Compact Foundation. Likewise, Another China's domestic product and very important company called Changdo cooperated with a renowned snack brand called One One in joining, introducing a cushion compact foundation with the packaging design like the iconic Chinese brand One One Rice Crackers for the Double Eleven Shopping Festival. 20,000 pieces were sold out in the first half an hour. Amazing seal speed and volume as we can see. Well, we can also recall some genius brand collaborations which are commonplace outside of China. For example, the lipsticks which were launched by Coca-Cola in the face shop. Some other eyeshadows, lipsticks which were released by Colica Holica and Fuji Capeco. This, however, is a relatively new trend in China. Now, let's go to some other examples of iconic brands which brought traditional cultural elements of China. A good one is actually Forbidden City themed makeups which added Chinese traditional uh, components into their cosmetic packaging, thus touching off a lipstick buying boom. Now, with the success of these products, we may see more and more companies putting efforts towards studying consumer psychology. After all, consumers that were born in the 1980s and 1990s have accounted for over 30% of the skin market, skincare market, and they will be developing products with more interesting ideas. Now, we should be aware of the potential regulatory compliance problems that are associated with developing these novel products, especially claims regarding the labeling of these products. Lip balms designed by Maxim and White Rabbit, as we said, for example, were once ordered by the National Medical Products Administration to correct the packaging, adding the instructions, this product is a cosmetic, it's not edible, it should be kept out of the hands of children in a visible area. Also, on August 30th this year, a skin lotion named Lockwood Skin Juice Refresher was ordered to cease all sales and production activities by the NMPA. The products, which were already on the market and had to be recalled, why? The lotion's packaging is very much like the beverage and it bears the labeling claim fresh and juicy. This led to the accidental consumption by children and this was deemed of course a violation of the provisions included in the administrative provisions on cosmetics labeling which state what? The cosmetic labels and claims should not use language, graphics or symbols which may mislead its consumers. Now, inside of the regulations Exaggerated, false, medical, misleading, illegal claims are prohibited from appearing on the packaging. Regulatory authorities require companies to make all the necessary adjustments to any labels and packaging that could confer a potential safety risk. Serious violation of label and packaging regulations will require the recall of the product. So, enterprises should always remember that value can only be created on the base of compliance. So, this is all for today. If you want more information, you're always welcome to visit camlink.com and we'll see you next time.